Hi everyone, I'm Jacqueline Jax from Jax Couture and I'm here to talk to you about a trend to try. We've been talking online, if you haven't been on my blog, jaxcouture.com or on Facebook, we've all been going back and forth this week and discussing a trend called the perforated trend that is on the runways uh, right now and it's actually available in stores already for spring and it does definitely, it's a trend that will definitely go into fall because of the type of trend it is. It has to do with when you talk about perforated you're talking about laser cut you're talking about um, perforated clothing with hole punched in it even like this leather jacket that I have where it has kind of areas of relief in it whether it be maybe a crochet type of sweater or I have some samples here for instance in clothing this is one of my favorites this is a beautiful sweater that I invested in a long time ago and it has gold threads in it but if you notice it's an open weave technically even though it's an open weave it's still categorized in this perforated trend look but as as I showed you I mean this is a you know Laurel is a is a a fashion company that's been around for years and when you make really good purchases you can see that these items last forever so I mean I might have gotten this over 10 years ago and I still have it and I still wear it and it looks fabulous so that's one thing that you could consider in perforated trends when we're talking about it this is a um, another type of perforated and as you can see again it's just got lots and lots of holes through the fabric. So fabrics that have been perforated tend to look lighter and airier and that's why we see them a lot in spring and summer but just like my leather jacket has it, it's okay for fall and winter as well. It just depends on how you wear it. Now a lot of you online have told me that you don't like the perforated trend, you don't want to see it on your wives, you don't want to see it on your girlfriends. The ladies that I have spoken to, some of my clients have said, no, 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 I don't like it at all. And typically Maybe you've seen it only in bags and shoes and you're just not attracted to it. But I have a feeling as after you've seen some of the samples that I brought on today, it might actually open your mind to the fact that even though it's a fashion trend, it probably can be lasting in your wardrobe or something that you could use to add a little texture to maybe a monochromatic classic style of dressing. And that's what I want to talk to you about when we talk about a trend to try. Now, of course, the perforated trend, you think sporty and you think lots of sheer pieces that are like skirts that are too sheer and things that are a little bit um, over the edge and might not be good for, you know, if you're a mom and you're going to pick up your kids. But as you can see, you can get it in a sweater, you can get it in a leather jacket, and then you can have it and incorporate the trend into your wardrobe in a very stylish and classy way. And that's what we do here at Jax Couture. We make sure that we find a way to wear the trends if you do like them, that where you can embrace them in a way that won't be inappropriate um, to wear to different events. Now, how would you wear it? Well, as I've said, it depends on the pieces that you find. Sometimes we'll find uh, dresses with perforated hemlines. Those are fine. I think they're wonderful. It just depends on the shape and style of the dress and where you're going. Um, if, the, if the dress, like for example, the example that I have up is um, like a, a really light, nice blush pink and it's got that perforated hem and it's a tank dress, then that's going to be great for brunch, for lunch. You could even put this leather jacket over it and go into a restaurant and you'd be good for all spring and summer. It's definitely a beautiful look for that. If you're looking to bring this trend into winter or maybe have it a little more lasting, I might try some of these beautiful sweaters as they come through with a perforated type of fabric. Or again, a leather jacket is always a great idea to wear perforated. Um, and you're gonna see a lot of shoes and bags, of course, in them. I personally think the perforated trend in shoes and bags is not going to last as long as some of the other pieces that I've shown you and it's just because I think that the bag styles that I've seen if you're going to buy invest in a classic style bag you really don't want it with holes in it it's more of like a summer or spring look it's not really an all year look I haven't found that perfect bag yet that would be a good all year but after all you don't have to spend a lot of money on those specific pieces if you want to wear the trend 
So it really just depends on what you're doing. Now, um, a couple of people have been seen in perforated dresses, and I want to bring up Duchess Kate because she had a beautiful dress made for her quite a while ago before this trend ever got back in fashion this year. And she recently was seen wearing it, um, and I'm popping up a picture now so you can see it. Now, the dress is a classic style fit and flare dress. It's beautiful. The fabric is perforated. This is a great example of how perforated doesn't have to be a flashy trend. It doesn't have to have too much edge. She did it in a gorgeous color and it's just part of the elegance of the fabric. So it really, really worked. Another example that I have is a beautiful lady here that's one of our street fashion bloggers and she's wearing a perforated black and white skirt. This has got a lot of edge to it. It doesn't necessarily have to be worn at night. The reason why is because she's got it with a white cami, a white bag, and then she's accented it with a uh, tailored red jacket that she's spent nice, nice money on. So if you have pieces and you coordinate them very, very well and keep them almost monochromatic, keep them toned down, then you can wear some of these trends and it not look like it's too edgy of a look or like it's something that's going to be really really outdated come um, come next season and if you're gonna spend money you definitely want to make sure that you get the maximum wear out of these clothes the third picture that I have up for you is um, a skirt from Miley Spring and as you can see this skirt although it's white and it's a beautiful skirt it's definitely on the edge of the trend and this was the one that m the majority of my fans did not like and did not think that they could ever wear or would like to see anybody wearing so maybe a perforated pencil skirt in this case scenario is not really the way to go you definitely want to have that liner there so that you can wear it day or night and have it more appropriate just watch the fabrics everybody and Trust your instincts. Go with what looks good on you and what you really want to wear. If you can't imagine it pairing it for more than one season, then don't spend a lot of money on it, and that will keep you in the good green zone when you go to plan your wardrobe for the entire year. This is Jacqueline Jacks. I hope you enjoyed my trend to try from Jacks Couture. I'll catch you next time, and don't forget to subscribe.